Did you know Anna Maria Jarvis, born on 1 May 1864 in West Virginia, United States, was the founder of Mother's Day, which became a national holiday from 1914. Anna's mother often mentioned there should be a holiday day for mothers past and present. Anna had in total 10 siblings, of which 7 died early on in childhood. Anna's mum encouraged her to attend college, which she did, then went on to join her mum in a public school. Anna moved to Philadelphia to live with her brother, where she worked for a life insurance company and became a shareholder in her brother's business, Quaker City Cab Company. Anna and her mother would regularly communicate with each other via letter. After Anna's father died, her mother's health deteriorated, so Anna and her brother persuaded their mother to move to Philadelphia so they could live together where Anna cared for her until her passing in 1905. Three years after Anna's mother passed, Anna held a memorial ceremony to honour her mother and other mothers. 500 white carnations symbolising purity, mother's love, memory and hugs were handed out to those who attended. Although Anna did not attend the ceremony, she sent a telegram explaining the importance of Mother's Day. Anna did try to be recognised as the founder of Mother's Day and she also tried to cancel it as it became too commercialised whereby florists were making vast amount of money out of it and increasing the price of carnations. Florists then began to introduce red carnations, white carnations for living mothers and red carnations for deceased mothers. On top of that, greeting card industries profited, as did sweet shops, from Anna's idea of Mother's Day, which went against the whole idea of the true meaning of Mother's Day. When Anna tried to cancel Mother's Day, she was placed in Marshall Square Sanitarium in Pennsylvania. Anna's medical bills were paid by the florists and greeting card industries until her passing in 1948. She was buried next to her mother, sister and brother in Pennsylvania. Anna never married and never had children of her own. Rest in peace, Anna Jarvis, and thank you so much. You will not be forgotten.